Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2023, I'd like to welcome you to class night. Tonight's ceremony is about celebrating the academic achievements of our classmates, and we are grateful for the support we have received from our families and the school staff to help us work towards our goals for graduation. At this time, will you please bow your heads and gentlemen, remove your cap for a moment of silent meditation. Thank you. Good evening. I am Brooke Scarbeck, the senior class treasurer. Would everyone remain standing, and gentlemen, please remove your caps again as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. You may all be seated. Good evening. I'm Ms. Hand, the senior class counselor, and I'm pleased to announce the honor and high honor students for the class of 2023. 52 members of this class will graduate with academic honors or high honors. A gold honor cord adorns the robes of these students. In addition, members of the National Honor Society wear a blue honor cord. Please also take notice that we may have students who wear pins or sashes that re represent Eagle Scout or Gold Award honors, military intentions, or other service honors. Honors here are awarded to students who maintain a cumulative high school average between 90% and 92.99%, 20 students have achieved honor status. As I read the names, please stand and remain standing until all of the names have been read. The honor students are Gavin Anderson, Blue Berkheimer, Michael Klemmer, Trinity Edney, Mason Fairman, Jaden Getch, Isaac Greenblatt, Easton Gula, Daniel Lenz, Jordan Merritts, Seth Moore, Brock Pearsall, Lexi Poole, Bryce Rowan, Caitlin Schaefer, Brady Smith, Savannah Switlick, Quinton Vocal, Andrew Yoder, and Logan Zeitler. Congratulations. You may sit. High honors are awarded to students who maintain a cumulative high school average between 93% and 100%. 32 students have achieved high honor status. Again, as I read the names, please stand and remain standing until all the names have been read. The high honor students are Olivia Bish, Lauren Brower, Brooklyn Davis, Zachary Dinger, Araya Drum, Catherine Fuller, Kaylee Gadis, Sydney Haynes, Ryan Higley, Jacob Henretta, Jordan Hicks, Sydney Hoffman, Elizabeth Long, Grant Miller, Justin Miller, Rebecca Miller, Alex Momeyer, Dawson Neufeld, Chloe Press Lloyd, Gabriel Rowan, Carter Savage, Zachary Scheel, Willow Schaefer, Nikita Shoemaker, Jake Sakura, Brooke Scarbeck, Kaylin Smith, Bailey Stello, Joshua Tiger, Damian Wilson, Owen Wood, and Carly Young. Congratulations. You may be seated. Special recognition is given to three of these high honor students who have distinguished themselves by earning the top spots in their class. Please join me on stage 
as I announce your names. The third honor student is Jacob Henretta. The salutatorian of the class is Dawson Neufeld. And the valedictorian of the class of 2023 is Ryan Higley. Congratulations to them all. The Margaret C. Bowles Memorial Foundation was established in 1950 as a source of financial assistance for Punxsutawney Area High School graduates. Ms. Bowles was a longtime teacher in Punxsutawney Area at the Punxsutawney Area School District. She recognized the need for our students to, to continue their education in college, university, trade, nursing, or technical schools. While she was alive, she would loan money to her students who needed it for school expenses. The Bowles Scholarship Foundation now disperses awards in the form of scholarships to current Punxsutawney High School seniors planning to contribute their education. Each year, money raised from the Variety Show is donated to the foundation to fund this great cause. We are honored to present this check to Barbazzini, to Mr. Barbazzini and the Board of Trustees for the Margaret C. Bowles Scholarship Foundation. This year, $5,172.53 will be donated from the senior class. And as a member of the Bulls Foundation, uh, on behalf of the rest of us, I am pleased to present the scholarship recipients for 2023 from the Bulls Foundation. Please stand to be recognized. Olivia Bish, Lauren Brower, Charles Connell, Brooklyn Davis, Araya Drum, Catherine Fuller, Kaylee Gadis, Sydney Haynes, Ryan Higley, Jacob Henretta, Jordan Hicks, Elizabeth Long, Jordan Meritz, Alex Momeyer, Dawson Neufeld, Jake Sikora, Brooke Scarbeck, Bailey Stello, and Quentin Vocal. Congratulations. Each year, the senior class votes for one of their classmates to become the class heart. The class heart is awarded to a student who is recognized by their classmates as making outstanding contributions to their school and to their class. This person is traditionally a well-rounded person and well-liked throughout the class. In addition, this student must have been a member of the class for at least three years. 
This year's recipient of the class heart is, one second. is Kaylee Gadis. Good evening, my name is Christina Young and I would like to present the Senior Art Awards on behalf of the Art Department. The class of 2023 has shown an impressive amount of creativity and I would like to recognize some of these students who have shown true prestige and dedication in art throughout their high school years. Would the following students please stand? Ashlyn Cataruch, Ben Gifford, Grace Fetterman, Jaden Lane, Jared Meeks, Piper Petroff, Lexi Poole, Cameron Powell, Chip Reynolds, Nikita Shoemaker, Jake Sakura, Bailey Stello. Students receiving an honorable mention for excellent in art have demonstrated an admirable work ethic, dedication to art education, exceptional scores, and have consistently utilized their abilities. Thank you. The 2023 Distinguished Service in Art Award is based on leadership and dedication to the arts outside of the regular classroom. Would these students please stand? Ben Gifford, Landon Peterson, Lexi Poole. Ben, Landon, and Lexi have dedicated their talents and time to the fine arts and have enabled others to extend their art experiences through the art club and many additional art-related activities. Thank you. And the 2023 Outstanding Senior Art Award is the most distinguished award the art department presents. Would the following students please stand? Krista Selva, Elizabeth Long, Landon Peterson, and Cheyenne Trask. Selection for this award is based on students who have most consistently performed in an outstanding manner. Your work, you have a high level of creativity and uniqueness, as well as craftsmanship and knowledge. These students have demonstrated an incredible ability to self-motivate and direct while taking full advantage of learning opportunities. Thank you, and congratulations to the entire class. Good evening. I'm Alicia Weaver, Language Arts Department Chair, and I'm pleased to announce the recipient of the Outstanding Communicator Award for this year. My department likes to recognize the individual who not only shows strength of skill in writing, reading, listening, and speaking, but also shows confidence to take these skills to another level, thus demonstrating what it takes to be an outstanding communicator. As parents, we are so proud and delighted when our children speak their first words. As teachers, we expect students to respond to questions to show their knowledge and skills. So why do we spend so much time telling these kids to be quiet? This student is able to speak his voice. He can raise an opposing viewpoint or debate a universally accepted truth and is willing to listen and to learn. He is not afraid or shy to share his thoughts. He is reflective on classroom discussions and we will email a teacher with further comments or compliments. And he never gives up because of the mistakes he makes. He listens and learns about language and literature and strives to improve. It gives me great honor to present the Outstanding Communicator Award to Benjamin Gifford. Please stand to be recognized. I will also be presenting the Foreign Language Award. The Foreign Language Award is given to students who have completed four years of foreign language at PAHS. This year, the two students who are receiving this award for their dedication to the study of Spanish are, are Araya Drum and Grant Miller. Please stand. The 
The Foreign Language Department would like to congratulate you both on your hard work and said it was a pleasure to have the opportunity to watch you grow and use your Spanish over the years. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Kevin Hughes, the Technology Engineering Department uh, Chair. This year, the Technology Engineering Education Department of Punxsutawney High School is recognizing nine students. The Top Woodworking Student Award is meant to recognize a student's efforts in recognizing and producing a quality finished product. This year, Mr. Steitler has chosen four students to receive this award. They are Joel Mahalik, Zach Scheel, Rebecca Miller, and Zeke Bennett. The next award is for the top graphic communication technology student. To be eligible for this award, the student must have taken at least two communication technology courses, earned honor grades in each of those, demonstrated superior craftsmanship in the creation of products in the graphic arts, and be recommended by his or her technology teacher. This year's top graphic communication technology student award recipient is Lauren Brower. <laughs> To be eligible for the top technology student award, the student must have taken at least three technology classes, maintained honor grades in each of these, be recommended by his or her technology teachers, exhibit pride in his or her work, and a willingness to help others along the way. This year's top technology student award is, goes to Dawson Neufeld. The Top Engineering Student Award is meant to recognize the individual who has taken at least three classes in the department, one of which must be parametric design, maintain honor grades in all classes, and always exhibit a desire to learn more and work with precision. Finally, they also must be accepted into an engineering program accredited by the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology. This year I will be awarding two students. One is pursuing a career in computer engineering through Penn State, and the other is pursuing a civil engineering degree through Penn State as well. This year's top engineering students are Dawson Neufeld and Justin Miller. <laughs> Our next award is in memory of Robert Anderson. This award gives me particular pleasure, pleasure to present because when Bob retired, I was hired in his place, and I have some great memories of my time in his class. Mr. Anderson was a longtime industrial arts teacher in Punxsutawney School District. The family of Robert Anderson would like to remember him through an award to the Punxsutawney, a Punxsutawney graduate who is pursuing a career in a technology-related field and displays the characteristics of honesty and strong work, work ethic. This year, the Robert Anderson Memorial Award goes to Joel Mahalik. My next award is for outstanding service to our Weather Capital Robotics team. This person has been a member since eighth grade and has remained a faithful and consistently contributing member. She has worked on nearly all facets of the robot from the manufacturing to documentation. She has held offices and encouraged younger members throughout the year. This year's Outstanding Service Award goes to Savannah Switlick. Our final department award is the Gene Haas Foundation Scholarship. In 1999, this was founded by Gene Haas. Growing up with a strong social conscience instilled by his family, Haas initially formed a foundation to fund the needs of his local community. Haas Automation is now a billion dollar company and this extraordinary growth has all come in an era when Americans were being told that the US doesn't manufacture anything anymore. Our school has been awarded grants from the foundation a portion of the money is to be used for scholarships for students pursuing programs in mechanical or aerospace engineering or other fields related to CNC manufacturing. This year's scholarship recipient will be attending WVU this fall to major in mechanical engineering. That student is Catherine Fuller. <laughs> See me next week to pick up your awards. Thank you.
Good evening. My name is Dave Seymour. I'm the District 26 Commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars. I'm also a member of Post 2076 Local Punxsutawney VFW. I'm here to present the award to the Vela Victorian. Would you please rise? Give him a round of applause. The Principal Scholarship is an award funded by the Punxsutawney Athletic Foundation through the Harry and Rita Cook Endowment. The characteristics displayed by the recipients are as follows. The ability to display strong leadership skills, an academically solid student, participates in organizations within their community, and excels in a variety of athletic programs. The recipients of this year's Principal Award are Chloe Presloyd, and Alex Momire. Each year, the mathematics department recognizes a graduating senior by awarding him or her the J. Clifford Doney Mathematics Award. In order to be considered for this award, a student must demonstrate superior math ability in the classroom. He or she must also possess the personal qualities that Mr. Doney displayed during his 40 plus years as a high school teacher. It gives me great pleasure to present the 2023 J. Clifford Doney Award to Ryan Higley. Ryan, the mathematics department thanks you for being a leader in the classroom and wishes you the best of luck with your future endeavors. Each year, the science department also recognizes individuals who have performed exceptionally well in science classes. The first award, the Bausch and Lomb Science Award, is presented each year to the most outstanding science student who excelled in biology. Selection is based on performance and recommendations from the science department staff. The award entitles the recipient to a science award certificate and their name is placed on a plaque. This year's award winner is Ryan Higley. <laughs> the second award, the A. Herman Shirk Science Award, is named after a longtime chemistry teacher at our high school. The recipient of this award has displayed a unique and outstanding ability in chemistry. The recipient of this award receives a certificate and their name will be placed on a plaque. This year's award winner is Joshua Tiger. <laughs> on behalf of Mrs. O'Leith, I would like to recognize the following seniors for their contributions to the 2023 yearbook. This year's theme is Moments Captured. Would Elizabeth Long, editor, and Jordan Hicks, co-editor, please stand. Congratulations on a beautiful yearbook. Good evening. On behalf of Mr. Cessna, the instrument, Instrumental Music Department has three awards to present this evening. The Director's Award honors a single student whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity set them apart. This year, the Director's Award is presented to Lauren Brower. <laughs> Patrick S. Gilmore was known for grandiose performances and enthusiastic promotion of his bands. For his outstanding contributions to the PAHS band, this award is presented to Dawson Neufeld. <laughs> the John Philip Sousa Award has been given to thousands of outstanding high school students for superior musicianship, leadership, dependability, and loyalty. 
The SUSE Award is the most prestigious award a band student can receive. The John Philip SUSE Award is presented to Zachary Scheel. <laughs> Congratulations and uh, please see Mr. Cessna to pick up your awards. On behalf of Mrs. Nepper, Vocal Music Awards. The Spotlight, Spotlight Music Theater Award is an award that celebrates outstanding student achievement in music theater. The students receiving this award have worked to promote the performance of musical theater in this school and have, through their performance and participation, encouraged the participation of future students. This year's recipients of the Spotlight Musical Theater Award are Blue Berkheimer and Chip Reynolds. <laughs> the National School Choral Award is the highest honor for the high school choral performances. It recognizes the dedication and musical achievement of the, of the top choral students. This year's recipients have exhibited strong musical skills as well as leadership and pride in our choral Choir program. This year's recipients of the National School Choral Award are Brooklyn Davis and Araya Drum. <laughs> the Director's Award for Four Choral Performance is an honor awarded to students who have demonstrated leadership, musicianship, and a desire to grow musically. The students receiving this award have been leaders in their sections, given their own time to better their musical skills and support other members of the choir. And through their active participation, encouraged younger singers to join our program. This year's recipients of the Director's Award for Choral Performance are Olivia Bish, Charity Blair, Macy Eberhardt, and Jordan Meritz. Congratulations. The Andrew Zedek Cup Award is given each year to students who are in the top 10% of their class and have lettered in two or more different sports. They will each receive a certificate and their names will be engraved on a plaque which is located in the display case in the lobby of the Chuck Daly Memorial Gymnasium. This year's recipients <clears throat> of the Andrew Zeta Cup Award are Kaylee Gadis, Brian Higley, Jacob Henretta, Sydney Hoffman, Elizabeth Long, Chloe Presloyd, Brooke Scarbeck, and Joshua Tiger. Congratulations. <laughs> On behalf of the Varsity Club, I'm pleased to present the Male and Female Jack F. LaMarca Outstanding Senior Athlete Awards. These Varsity Club Awards are presented in honor of Coach LaMarca, a longtime teacher and coach at Punxsutawney High School as well as a former advisor of the Varsity Club. The recipients of the award are determined by a vote of the members of the Varsity Club. The recipient must be a senior member of Varsity Club, must have earned three varsity letters while participating in at least two different sports, must have made achievements in his or her sports, must have conducted themselves admirably on and off the playing area, and must have maintained passing grades in all courses during their senior year. I ask that the recipients please stand when I call your names and please see Mr. Hospodar tomorrow to receive your plaques. The 2023 Jack LaMarca Outstanding Senior Female Athlete is Chloe Presloyd. The 2023 Jack LaMarca Outstanding Senior Male Athlete is Zeke Bennett. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. In addition, I would like to, again on behalf of um, the athletic department, 
announce the MVP seniors in some of the different sports that we have in school. The MVP for girls cross country is Jordan Hicks. MVP for football offense, Zeke Bennett. MVP for football defense, Justin Miller. MVP for boys golf, Jake Sakura. MVP for girls tennis, Chloe Presloyd. MVP for girls basketball, Chloe Presloyd. <laughs> MVP for cheerleading, Caitlin Schaefer. MVP for girls indoor track, Jordan Hicks. Just stay standing because you're the MVP for girls track as well. <laughs> And the MVP for volleyball, Lexi Poole. Congratulations to all of you. The Family and Consumer Sciences Department would like to acknowledge one student who has demonstrated exceptional qualities throughout the past school year. The criteria for the Family and Consumer Sciences Award include the student has been enrolled in a minimum of three Family and Consumer Science classes offered at the high school level, consistent academic achievement, consistent attendance in school, and above all, a positive attitude and an enthusiastic interest in family and consumer science. Choosing a student for this award was difficult as there were many great students over the past few years. However, the recipient for the Family and Consumer Sciences Award is Brooklyn Davis. Please see Mrs. Pack for your award. Okay, now we are on to the scholarship section of our evening program. Um, I have a few to announce here for presenters that weren't able to make it tonight. The first up is the Punxsutawney Arts Association. So on behalf of Mr. Paul Murphy and the Punxsutawney Area Arts Association, I am pleased to announce that this year their scholarship will be awarded to Elizabeth Long. Good evening and congratulations to the graduating class. My name is Becky Ritchie and I'm here to present the Marion Center Bank Scholarship. Each year Marion Center Bank presents a scholarship to a graduating senior in 10 of the area high schools. This scholarship is presented to each year to a graduating senior who has been accepted to a two or four year college or business school, is majoring in a math, computer or business related field is graduating with a 3.0 or better grade point average and has maintained a superior record of attendance and behavior. This year's Marion Center Bank Scholarship is awarded to Carter Savage. On behalf of the Punxsutawney Sports Hall of Fame, sponsored by the family of Dr. Jack Smelko, they provide a scholarship to an applicant who earned letters in two different sports, participated in at least five athletic seasons, and participated in two different sports during his or her senior year. This year, the award goes to Rebecca Miller and Grant Miller. Congratulations. I'm Marissa Stockdale, and this is my brother, Franklin. We are lifelong family friends of the Barletta family. Thomas Barletta's niece, Patty Schroeder, asked us as a favor to present the scholarship recipients tonight. The Thomas Barletta Scholarship is provided to a PAHS student by the Barletta family. It's provided to students who maintain at least a 90% average throughout high school and are in the top two-fifths of their class. 
Mr. Barletto was someone who valued family, hard work, and education. So, in addition to being involved in school and community activities and maintaining employment, students must provide an essay regarding the meaning of continuing their education. Congratulations goes to the following recipients. And please stand. Um, Kaylee Gadis, Sydney Haynes, Jordan Hicks, Elizabeth Long, Dawson Neufeld, Jake Sakura, Brooke Scarbeck, Bailey Stello, and Joshua Tiger. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Good evening. My name is Stacy Etherson, and on behalf of my family, I'm pleased to award this year's Carl A. Truins Athletic Excellence Scholarship. By now you know this scholarship was created in loving memory of a great uncle who was involved in local sports much of his adult life. He encouraged the youth in his life to pursue an education, and he served the community in many, in many ways through his leadership roles that he played, and also for the relationships that he built and how he was able to use those relationships to help, to help others. This past fall, the Punxsut Tawny Boosters awarded Carl the Chuck Daly Lifetime Contributor Award. Especially in these times, his life is an inspiration to what can be achieved, no matter how humble one's beginnings. Thank you to everyone who applied. I enjoyed reading your applications, full of heartfelt reflections on your high school experiences. The deep sharing of what you learned also shows great awareness, really a lifelong skill which will help you greatly in the future. I read about the importance of your relationships, another lifelong skill. I am in awe of what you have accomplished in a short time, the community service, the athletic accomplishments, and getting through the rough times as well. Thank you all to you who applied. You're all really great outstanding ap applicants. I'm honored to announce this year's recipient of the Carl A. Truins Athletic Excellence Scholarship to Jordan Hicks. Congratulations. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Troy Conrad and I'm here presenting the Gary Conrad Memorial Scholarship, which considers graduating seniors based on their GPA, community and school involvement, career goals essay, and a pursuance of higher education at a college or trade school. This year's recipient participated in athletics, clubs, and worked part-time while achieving a place on the honor roll. This year's award goes to Cameron Powell. Congratulations. Good luck, 2023. Good evening. My name is Abby Stello, and on behalf of Matt and Ann Copenhaver, I have the honor of presenting this year's Miles for Smiles Scholarship. They wish them the best of luck for a bright future. The recipients are Bailey Stello and Griffin Barrick. I'm Marty Armstrong, and I'm here to represent the uh, Punxsutawney Career Women's Club, formerly Business and Professional Women, which was organized in Punxsutawney in 1929. One of our longtime members, uh, Mrs. Geraldine Jones, uh, upon her death, her daughter provided us with some funds to uh, go forward with uh, scholarships for young ladies interested in going on to further education. So. Um, it's a hard choice. Everybody's very well qualified who applies. And uh, there are two recipients. And when your name is called, if you would rise, please. Uh, your applications were blind, uh, reviewed. No names were available to the committee members who made the selection. Um, the winners of the two scholarships are Jordan Hicks and Sydney Haynes. And we look forward to following your careers. Uh, I'm also here to represent 
um, as a member of the board of St. John's Reformed Church, uh, the uh, Max and Maud Dinger Scholarship Awards. Uh, as longtime members of our church, uh, when they were living, they provided money for uh, young people in the organization who were interested in going on to college. And that, at her death, Mrs. Dinger provided for a broader uh, amount of scholarship recipients. She was, they had no children. She was a career uh, school teacher, um, student in a one-room school when she went to school, living out in the country. Not everybody even went to high school. Somehow her parents managed to get her to town to go to high school and she continued on at uh, State Teachers College and became a teacher and had a career in that area. So she was always interested in furthering the education of everybody just as everyone in her family was. So the uh, recipients this year for the Max and Mud Dinger Scholarship, if your names are called, if you would please rise and hold your applause till the end. Those recipients are Araya Drum, Alex Momeyer, Brady Smith, Kaylin Smith. Did I get that right? Just make sure about that. Didn't remember there being two with the same. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Brady Smith and Kaylin Smith. Um, Quinton uh, Vocal. And then, in addition to postgrads, Alyssa Campbell and Zalen Spearing. Uh, we appreciate your efforts, and here again, there are many qualified persons who uh, apply for this scholarship, and congratulations to you all. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Hannah Danko from the Challenge Program. With me tonight is Rita Mone from InFirst Bank, who is business partner for Punxsutawney High School. The Challenge Program's mission is to motivate high school students to develop the habits required to succeed in school and in their careers by building business and education partnerships. Tonight, five seniors are receiving $200 awards in one of our categories, including attendance, community service, STEM, academic improvement, and academic excellence. Juniors and sophomores receive theirs in the fall. We want to thank the administration, the teachers and staff at Punxsutawney High School for participating and encouraging our students to perform at the highest level. Now let's meet our recipients. You can rise whenever I say your name. Attendance, Jake Sakura. <laughs> STEM, Katherine Fuller. Community Service, Logan Plepo. <laughs> Academic Improvement, Amara Buffington. <laughs> Academic Excellence, Aria Drum. <laughs> Congratulations. Grammar, rhetoric, logic, arithmetic, geometry, music, and astronomy. The seven liberal arts are central to Freemasonry, as well as character development and community involvement. The recipient of this $500 scholarship from the John W. Jenks Hoba 276 Free and Accepted Masons has already demonstrated uh, all of these characteristics. Congratulations, Miss Elizabeth Long. Mr. Kalakabaz was my husband's father. He was a wonderful teacher, a kind and fair principal, and a caring mentor. His values and principles were shown throughout his work and love for his students. We are giving this scholarship to a student to honor his dedication uh, to helping students succeed. This student is Ryan Hegley.
Stacy was a 1991 graduate of Punxsutawney Area High School. She went on to earn a degree in business administration, followed by a nursing degree at Lock Haven University. Anyone who knew Stacy knew what a hard worker she was and how much she wanted to help others. Stacy was diagnosed with lung cancer in April of 2019 and fought a courageous battle until December 30th, 2020. The Stacy Hag Maganotti Memorial Nursing Scholarship was created in 2021 and through various fundraising efforts and community support, we were able to award the first scholarship last year. We look for a candidate that is hardworking, involved in the community and their school, and is passionate about pursuing a degree in the nursing field. The recipient of this year, Stacy Hag Maganotti Memorial Nursing Scholarship is Carly Young. Congrats, Carly. My name is Jason Wass. I was a technology education teacher here at Punxsutawney Area High School for the last 19 years. Uh, I checked out a little early on you guys, senior class, but congratulations, and uh, I hope all of you succeed. I wish you the best. Tonight, we're here. I'm here with Mr. Barbazzini, my brother-in-law, to present for the first time the annual Tim Steffi Memorial Scholarship. Tim Steffi, my father-in-law, passed away last March. Tim left us with so many great memories and touched the lives of so many people he came across. Tim Steffi could walk into a room not knowing anyone in there, but when he left, everyone in that room had a new best friend. He was loving, caring, and the grandfather of my four children. <clears throat> On any evening, <clears throat> Spring or summer day, Tim could be found at the softball field, covered in drywall dust, dirt, sweat, rushing there to see his grandchildren play after a long days of hard work as a contractor. Tim knew how much that meant to my kids. They loved their happy tea so much. Tim also cared about <clears throat> what was going on at Punxsutawney Area High School. As a former PHS student athlete, he would always ask me how students were doing in the technology education department. Tim would always tell me how he would get green slips and spend most of his free time in the tech, tech ed rooms designing, building, and making great memories. During this time, he found a love for the trades, which led him to his career, a, very, a very successful career as a contractor. In remembrance of Tim Steffi, I am honored to be a presenter of a scholarship that I know Tim would be so proud of. Thank you. In order to be eligible for the Tim Steffi Memorial Scholarship, a student had to possess a GPA of 2.5 or higher, accepted to a trade school, and was active in his school and community. On behalf of Mr. Wass and Tim's family, I would like to present this year's Tim Steffi Memorial Scholarship to Owen Wood. My name is Amber Brocious, and I'm here tonight to give the scholarship for Kenny Stewart, Jr. Kenny was a good friend of mine. Um, actually, he has friends out here tonight that have kids that are graduating, which is crazy because I never thought that I would be standing here giving his scholarship to his friend's kids. Um, so Kenny, like I said, he was a good, good friend of mine. He was an older brother that I never had. He was a gentle spirit. He was always there to make you smile or give a helping hand. In June of 1997, he was on his way to work and he was hit by a drunk driver. At that moment, a son, a brother, an uncle, a best friend was taken from us way too early. Kenny's family decided that giving a scholarship in memory of him would be a good way to keep his spirit alive. The scholarship is chosen by his family the applicant is required to meet certain criteria, such as residing in the Punxsutawney School District, must be a member of the graduating class, have a cumulative grade average of 85% or higher, and have been accepted into a program of higher education. The family also asked the student to write an essay on why they chose criminology as their major. The scholarship will be rewarded 
after the completion of the criminology program. This year's recipient ranked 77th in her class and held an 86% average. Morgan Riggi, will you please stand? <laughs> Morgan is the daughter of Tiffany and Matthew Riggi of Punxsy. Morgan is active in Ski Club, Key Club, Foreign Language Club, Science and Art Club. Morgan also plays volleyball. Morgan is attending IUP and is majoring in criminology and pre-law. Best of luck and congratulations on behalf of the Stewart family and myself. Good evening. We would like to congratulate all the scholarship winners here today. I'm Michelle Walls and with me is Abby Brower and we are here from Priority First Federal Credit Union. Priority First Federal Credit Union is a community credit union serving Jefferson and Clearfield County. We started our scholarship program as a way to give back to the communities we serve. Our scholarship is for high school seniors and anyone pursuing educational and career training opportunities after high school. As part of our application process, we asked students to explain their financial goals and how they plan to meet those goals. This year, the scholarship recipient is Jacob Henretta. Congratulations. Good evening. You've been sitting for a long time. Everybody stand up. Stretch out. <laughs> I'd ask you to turn around and rub each other's shoulders, but I won't do that. But uh, make a long story short, you may be seated. I'm here to present just uh, two, two awards, one through the Rotary Foundation. Rotary is an international organization that has maintained uh, the abilities through grants, through raising of funds to support the community in Punxsutawney, but as well as worldwide, responsible for eradicating smallpox, smallpox throughout the world. There's only two or three cases now that are there, and Rotary has been active in that. The Rotary took a look as a, as a committee um, with 14 applicants from this class and uh, did not take lightly as a committee of three independent of each other to come up with one person that you can choose in reference to that and the recipient for the Rotary Scholarship is Alex Momar. <laughs> Chuck Daly was my coach in high school and um, with that, there's this one story I'd like to share with you because of its life lessons. Playing for him was a, a difficult thing at times because he was a man of perfection, and you can see that if you take a look at any of the Olympic games that they coach with the pros. But uh, one in particular time, we were playing Dubois. We had lost to them at Dubois by 33 points at Dubois. We came back, played other games. We only lost one game on the gymnasium floor. And that was to Altoona. But he came to me within two weeks of the contest and he says, Butch, he said, uh, we're putting on a four-man offense and you're not one of them. <laughs> he looked at me and waited for a response. And he said, I want you to do what you do best, that's rebounding and scoring. And we beat Dubois here on our own court um, in overtime. I mention that because there's times when you're going to be asked to do things that are contrary to your thought process. And sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. But you're going to have to determine that as a class and at those mates out here of what makes the, makes the person the most successful. And that's accepting sometimes when you have been rejected. Rejection only lasts for a short period of time, and it just depends upon how you uh, cover that rejection. And Daly was an a ardent person in reference to making sure that the athletes understood that. In the development of the scholarship, we go through, again, a process through the Daly Foundation. And you've seen around town this number of things 
and reference to Chuck Daly, the community center here at the gymnasium, all over the territory. And we just also I did a project for District 9 and District 10 Coaches of the Year. And that's how far it is spread out. The reason I mention this is because most of you people have no idea who he was, because that was back in 1960. I was the first class to walk across this stage. Now, out there someplace is a person that probably should have got the same award as I got. Worth nothing, called a class clown. You know who he is out there. I would like you to point to him, class. <laughs> That's just an opportunity to begin to look at people who, in their notoriety of, of a negative, sometimes comes out to be a positive because it's in your personality. In selecting the recipients, again, we took a look at a number of different things. It wasn't di too difficult for the girls to receive. Chloe Presloyd, would you please stand? <laughs> In boys basketball, Ryan Higley. And for Goff was Josh Tiger. Thank you. On behalf of the Matt Hod Matt Hogg Wrestling Club, I would like to present this year's scholarship to a senior who has excelled in wrestling for many years. This year's scholarship is awarded to Grant Miller. Congratulations, Grant. The family of Braden Shyock offers a scholarship in his memory to a student or students entering the medical profession with at least a 3.0 average throughout high school. On behalf of the family, I am pleased to announce the scholarship will go to Jordan Merritts and Olivia Bish. Each year, Simcoe of Sykesville makes their scholarship available to students throughout multiple school districts and usually awards only two of them. This year, one of our students has been chosen to receive one of these scholarships. We are happy to congratulate Jordan Hicks. <laughs> the Eagle Riders formed a scholarship in 2012 to honor the memory of three Punxsutawney Area High School graduates, Dylan Barrent, Sean McConaughey, and Joel Riggleman, who were killed in an automobile accident. This year's scholarships will go to Jacob Henretta and Kaylee Gadis. <laughs> On behalf of the Bowser family, I am pleased to announce this year's recipient of the Eric Bowser Memorial Scholarship. This award is given to two seniors, one male and one female, who have been accepted into an accredited post-secondary program and who demonstrate strength of character. This year, congratulations go to Lauren Brower and Cameron Powell. <laughs> the Brudnock Scholarship goes to several students who are entering the education or medical field. This year, there are eight students receiving a monetary award from this scholarship fund. They are Lauren Brower, Jordan Hicks, Jordan Merritts, Rebecca Miller, Brooke Scarbeck, Kaylin Smith, Bailey Stello, and Carly Young. Congratulations. This year, Juanita McGinnis Scholarship is awarded to a student who has been accepted into a program of higher education who is pursuing a degree in special education. On behalf of the McGinnis family, I am pleased to announce that this year's recipient is Jordan Hicks. <laughs> the
The Anthony Paris Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who has two years of involvement in sports, involvement in school and community activities, and who has a 90% or higher GPA, ranking in the top fifth of the class. Congratulations this year goes to Kaylee Gadis. The Robert Hornack Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who has maintained a strong grade point average and who has excelled in sports in or out of school. On behalf of Robert's family, I am pleased to congratulate this year's winner, Grant Miller. Holly Hallman was a student in the Punxsie School District who was devoted to helping others. This memorial scholarship honors her spirit and the love she had for people. She was a great believer in community service and helped her community tremendously throughout her young life. I am pleased to announce this year's recipient of the Polly Hallman Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations to Bailey Stello. The recipient of the Uncle Guy Astorino must be a current senior at PAHS and be accepted to a college or trade school. They must also have a parent or grandparent who is an active member at the Walston Club. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Zachary Dinger, Carter Savage, Brooks Garbeck, and Kaylin Smith. The family of Cheyenne Burkett offers a scholarship every year in memory of this former PAHS student who was taken too early in life. At least one of the recipients of this scholarship is chosen for pursuing a career in the medical field. This award goes to Carly Young, Olivia Bish, Brooks Garbeck, and Cameron Powell. On behalf of the DeFelice family, I would like to announce the recipients of the Joseph C. DeFelice and Paul A. Snyder Scholarships. These awards go to members of the current senior class who have maintained a minimum 80% average and will be pursuing post high school training. The Joseph DeFelice recipients are Griffin Barrick and Morgan Riggy. The Paul Snyder recipients are Bryce Horn and Lauren Brower. The Kenneth Williams Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a senior or seniors who are getting going into the field of education. This year, the Kenneth Williams Award goes to Landon Peterson. The Grace Davis Memorial Scholarship goes to college-bound seniors who show high academic achievement and strength of character. They must also submit an essay on how they plan to impact the world and make it a better place to live. This year's scholarship goes to the following students. Congratulations and please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all names are called. Olivia Bish. Lauren Brower, Ariah Drum, Katherine Fuller, Sydney Haynes, Jordan Hicks, Sydney Hoffman, Elizabeth Long, Jordan Meritz, Grant Miller, Alex Momire, Dawson Neufeld, Landon Peterson, Lexi Poole, Cameron Powell, Carter Savage, Brooks Garbeck, Kaylin Smith, Bailey Stello, Joshua Tiger, and Carly Young. Okay. 
The Punxsutawney Area Education Associ Association awards an annual scholarship to a member of the current graduating class who is entering the field of education and has a demonstrated qualities that will make a positive impact on future students. This year's recipient is Brooks Garbeck. Congratulations. So, most of you out there probably have a program, and I'm going to need you to bear with me for a moment because I need to go off book <laughs> for a few things. First, Joe Pittman, the senator from the 41st District and the majority leader of the Senate, has begun this year a Good Citizenship Award program. Recipients of this award should exemplify the qualities of outstanding character and leadership. By recognizing these students, he hopes to encourage them to continue to develop the fine qualities they already possess. Also, it is his hope that these awards will stimulate the student body's interest in Pennsylvania state government. This year, this award goes to Alex Momeyer and Chloe Presloyd. Congratulations. On behalf of our country's military forces, I would like to recognize the seven PAHS seniors who have enlisted in our country's various military branches. Please join me in congratulating and thanking the following students for their service to our country. In the United States Marine Corps, Bryce Rowan, Lucian Storms, Michael Klemmer, and Landon Peterson. Congratulations. For the United States Army, Brock Pearsall and Trenton Pierce. And in the United uh, uh, Army National Guard, Jared Meeks. Eagle Scout is the highest achievement or rank attainable in the scout, scouting program of the Boy Scouts of America. Since its inception in 1911, only 4% of scouts have earned this rank after a lengthy review process. The Eagle Scout rank has been earned by over 2.5 million youth. Requirements include earning at least 21 merit badges. The Eagle Scout must demonstrate scout spirit, an ideal attitude based upon the scout oath and law, service and leadership. This includes an extensive service project that the scout plans, organizes, leads and manages. Eagle Scouts are presented with a medal and a badge that visibly recognizes the accomplishment of the scout. This year we honor Alex Momeyer for attaining this achievement. Congratulations Alex. We are pleased to announce on behalf of the Sykesville Civic Improvement Authority that Catherine Fuller will be receiving a scholarship from them. They wish her the best of luck in her endeavors. Congratulations, Catherine. <laughs> on behalf of the Central Fire Department and the John R. Allison family, I'm pleased to announce that the John R. Allison Scholarship this year goes to Bryce Horn. Congratulations. In memory of Clyde R. Manili, the faculty of PAHS selects one senior to receive the Clyde R. Manili Memorial Scholarship. This senior should possess the qualities that Mr. Manili himself possessed. Those qualities are achievement, character, civic pride, cooperation, dependability, and helpfulness. On behalf of the Manili family and the faculty of the high school, I am happy to congratulate Dawson Neufeld. The recipient of the Michael J. Bedell Memorial Scholarship must be planning to attend St. Francis University 
have maintained an 85% cumulative average in high school and been active in sports in or out of school. On behalf of the Bedell family, I am happy to congratulate Carly Young. On behalf of the John Jenks Masonic Lodge number 534, I'm pleased to announce the recipient of the John Jenks Memorial Scholarship. This year's recipient of this award is Lexi Poole. Congratulations. Lexi, you'll receive notification from the Masonic Lodge as to how to collect your award. The following students will be receiving scholarships from the Mary Ann Irvin Memorial Scholarship Fund to help them in their educational pursuits. Would the following students please rise to be recognized? Brooklyn Davis, Araya Drum, Mason Fairman, Catherine Fuller, Jacob Henretta, Sydney Hoffman, Elizabeth Long, Dawson Neufeld, Lexi Poole, Carter Savage, Bailey Stello, and Joshua Tiger. Congratulations. <laughs> the applicant for the Punxsie Youth Commission, Commission Scholarship must have demonstrated school and community service and provided an essay on a topic chosen by the Youth Commission. The recipients chosen to receive this scholarship are Lauren Brower and Rebecca Miller. Congratulations. The Jack Hart Award goes to a member of the senior class who was lettered in football and participated in the sport for at least two seasons. This year's recipient is Landon Peterson. Congratulations, Landon. The Punxsutawney Sportsman's Club would like to acknowledge all of the applicants of this year's scholarships. You are all to be commended on your applications and essays. This award is given to a senior who has maintained a minimum 90% average and been active in community and school activities. The student must also submit an essay on a topic chosen by the club. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Alex Momeyer. Army ROTC produces approximately 70% of the officers entering the Army each year and is available through nearly 1,000 college campuses. Army ROTC teaches leadership and discipline, management techniques, cultural awareness, and problem solving for those who, after completing the program, will enter the Army as newly commissioned second lieutenants. At this time, the Army ROTC would like, to con or would like to recognize Alex Momeyer for his ex outstanding achievement as a scholar, athlete, and leader. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated leadership potential and his dedication to becoming a U.S. Army officer, he is therefore being awarded an Army ROTC National Scholarship. This scholarship will cover 100% of his tuition, fees, or room and board for three years, a yearly allowance to cover textbooks, and a monthly stipend for living expenses. Alex will be attending the ROTC program at Slippery Rock University of Pennsylvania. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. I would just like to remind all of the students that you will be picking up your awards out in the hall at the table set up by Mrs. White and Mrs. Cesario before you leave this evening. Please make sure you stop by that table to pick up the things that you've um, won tonight. Okay, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kaylee Gadis, and I am the senior class vice president. As we close our night, on behalf of the 2023 graduating class, I would like to show our appreciation for everyone who came to support us on this night. We truly could not be here without you. 
I would like also like to thank all of our generous donors who gave these scholarships to our students. We couldn't be more grateful. We also want to give a special thank you to all the teachers and staff who got us to this point. You have helped us make us the people we are, and to our parents and loved ones, we want to show our, our appreciation because without you and your love, we could never have made it to this point. To my senior class, we have spent 13 years together, 13 years worth of memories, laughs, and life lessons. As our journey together comes to an end, a new chapter opens for each and every one of us. With that new chapter comes new opportunities and new people. It is my hope that everyone in this room will flourish and have the wonderful life you all deserve. Remember that going forward, you will always have a place back home with your fellow classmates who we will never forget. As our future comes and goes, we can know that as a class, we made it through this portion of our lives through all the ups and downs and created amazing stories to tell. Graduating class of 2023, I thank you. Goodbyes can be temporary, but memories can last a lifetime. We finally made it. Let's finish strong the same way we started, together. Congratulations to all the 2023 graduates. All right, just a couple things uh, before we end our program tonight. Students, like Ms. Han said, that will have been announced as winners are reminded to pick up those awards at the table with Ms. White and Ms. Cesario before you leave tonight. Also, class officers, top three honor students, variety show directors, and class hearts winners uh, will need to remain here for a newspaper photo, um, so please don't leave before you do that. And finally, thank you all for coming to honor our seniors. We are so happy we are able to award so much financial aid uh, to help our graduates as they move on each year. Safe travels to everybody and have a wonderful night. Thank you.